I'm not really a glass half full kind of guy. Unless it's a glass of whiskey. We got Wanda back, straightened out Johnny Blaze, and are gonna totally vaporize the parchment of power. What could possibly go wrong? I hope that wasn't too confident of me. I just really want Lilith to go away. Forever. I'm glad you're fitting in. We've heard so many stories about you that we didn't really know what to expect. What did you hear? That you were a godlike hero walking the earth single handedly holding back the forces of evil. I was more like a demigod. My only real flaw was mortality. And to think, I worried it might go to your head. Speaking of which, I'm surprised you and Caretaker keep butting heads. She always spoke of you so fondly. This is how it always used to be. If you were saying it was different, I was not around for it. I guess everybody loves you when you're dead. Now that you aren't... The Midnight Suns have all dealt with Caretaker when she's prickly. If you ever need a vent, we get it. Thanks, Nico. Of course, what are friends for? Hunter, you have an eye for gifts. How's it going, boss? Greetings are good. What can I say except you're welcome? Hunter. We've been through a lot as a team, but we've come a long way. All taken care of. I'm here if you need me. Thanks, Hunter.
It's good to have you around again. How'd you bring Wanda back? Was it some weird mystical ritual, or was it cognitive recalibration via spirit force trauma? To me, it looked like your soul helped Wanda's face. What are you up to, Ileana? Being bored out of my mind. Why not try to make new friends? I've already done the play nice thing with the X-Men. Not trying to buddy up to everyone here. You have buddied up with Nico just fine. That's different. I trust her. I do not trust a lot of people either. I find that hard to believe. You know who my mother is. People are wary of me. Hmm, so you are distrustful. It means I get to choose who I think is worthy of my time. I do not need to be popular. I feel that. It is better to have a small circle of friends I trust. I'm the same way. It's easier. I'm glad you have people you allowed into your life. A little sappy, but thanks. I am amazed at how you do not let things bother you. It's all blood, sweat, and tears. Mostly blood. Think Doctor Strange. Let's do this.
Just give me a target. The Chaos Magic's power grows. Let's see him try to handle me now. Time to take it to the next level. Eastern Europe. Are you seeing... Holy! Disturbance in the force! Not too holy from the feel of it. Quite the reverse. Oh. Wake up, kid. If you're getting this, well, we gotta have us a little conversation. Ghost Rider to Ghost Rider. I'm listening. In person. Here, at the Mesa. And I need your pit crew, too. Counting on you to bring them. So don't screw it up. I think Blaze feels much of anything. Do you think Blaze wants to apologize? What do you mean something is up with Limbo? More soulless? A little more detail would be appreciated. That's all the detail I can give. But do not worry. I'll stay behind and figure out what's going on. Please do. And next time you sense some kind of danger with Limbo, come talk to me about it first. Korasho Bunir. What did you just say? <clears throat> Just tell the team I will be watching over them. It's really good to have Wanda back. Whole place felt like it was missing for signature scarlet touch. Here blaze out, but don't agree to anything. Most importantly, get that page. Ghost Rider to Ghost Rider. Just like you said. And your crew. Good. Because I got us a plan. You want to stop that nasty mama of yours? Stick with me. And keep your traps shut. Who in the Ten Hells do you think you are? Ten? I'm the guy with the answer to your prophecy problem. <laughs> We good now. Johnny Blaze, you made it. 
I'm impressed. Wait, what? You're doing the right thing. Can't have that hunter of yours running around off-leash, can we? He's leaving you in good hands. Well, not good. <laughs> you understand. Okay. I get it. Actually, I don't. What's the plan here? Hunter's written all over that page, kid. Further we keep him from the Midnight Sun, the better. And this place is further as it gets. So, what? You, you dump him off in hell with the freaking devil? Limbo with Mephisto. There's a difference. You do realize I can hear everything. Bastard wants Kathan back less than we do. Count on that. Coward. You two deserve each other. Hate me all you want when we get home, kid. But it's the only option. I'm not going anywhere with you. He's got a point, Johnny. Our arrangement was for you. Don't get cute with me, you I'd love to see the look on his face when he gets back. But, first things first. Let's see if you're worth all the fuss, shall we? It won't be any worse than what Lilith had planned for you. But here we are. Here you are, child of the blood. Hell's greatest imposter. Always too cowardly to face me himself. Your time will come. But today, my interests lie elsewhere. Concerned about where we are. It may look like hell, but don't believe it. <laughs> this will be your end.
mother abandoned you. Break my resolve. I've encountered all sorts of unusual beings through the ages, but you, little hunter, are something truly unique. Your very existence is against the rules. Your words are meaningless to me, demon. You'll come to understand me in time. They always do. It is time. Your power comes from a delicate balance. You have been judged.
fate is sealed. Once again, will its servants fall. trouble up there for this. You haven't seen anything yet, but your time will come. Welcome assistance. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. That's the last of them, but stay on your toes. Already your efforts send shockwaves across the multiverse, Hunter. Your mother will be so proud. I am just getting started. Good. So am I. Usurper! You forget. You are not the ruler of Limbo. I am! Iliana, nicely done. 
You always were so gifted. So gifted, you've stole me from my parents. Twisted me into a living weapon until I cast you from this very realm? I mean, yes. This is starting to sound familiar. I have reopened Blaze's portal, as well as a few others. Leave, now. Mephisto and I have some catching up to do. Ah, a minor inconvenience. into the fire. I hope you've got some fight left in you. On that, we are agreed.
fight is on our side. My strength grows. You will open. We are being reinforced. Sacrifice any and all of her children to achieve her goals. Oh, sir. You are unprepared. something.
twisting inside me, you know? Who's to say I won't? You are not Blaze, Robbie. But I led you straight to him. Played right into his little game. If Eliana hadn't been there... But I was there, Robbie. As you are always for me. It is time we go home. I'm gonna find him. Blaze. And when I do... with Johnny before. Stop being so defensive and listen to us, Robbie. We're just worried about you, that's all. No need to be worried. I got this. I don't think you fully understand what you're carrying. The parchment packs a lot of evil. And what? You don't think I can handle it? I'll have you know that you aren't the only one who has a corner on controlling darkness. Just ask Sparky. We're just concerned. Concerned? You're starting to sound an awful lot like Caretaker, Nico. Since when did you become such a jerk? Since he started carrying that damn page, that's why when... Why don't you worry about yourself, Blade? Whatever you say, Robbie. Why don't you go find Peter? Well, maybe I will. I'm out. Well, we tried. The parchment of power is no joke. Then again, neither is Robbie. Let's just hope he's right and he can handle it. <sighs> yeah, let's hope. about Jeremiah Kane's statue drew me. Guess it's that old spirit of vengeance connection, huh? Like you, Kane carried more burdens than any one man should. Yep, so he knew how the big honor could also become a curse. Do you feel like you have been cursed? Absolutely. I mean, it's awesome to be one of the Midnight Suns and have the incredible responsibility of carrying the parchment of power. But it also really sucks. As long as you carry the parchment with you, you are the most powerful member of the Midnight Suns. I hope you realize that. Huh. <laughs> Never thought of it that way. It is an awesome responsibility. Yeah, but of course, power doesn't do me much good unless I use it. And I doubt that's ever gonna happen. Blaze's betrayal probably soured your outlook. Uh, about that. I keep thinking about what happened back in Limbo. Right before all the fighting broke out, when Blaze told me you were the key to the parchment, the prophecy, all of it, and that if we took you out, the world might survive. Robbie. I, I know what you're gonna say. Don't trust Blaze. I get it. Which is why I'm thinking I should read this parchment for myself and find out exactly what caused him to get so worked up about you.
The forces of the parchment and the Darkhold are not to be trifled with, Ravi. You cannot expect to read the page the way you would a normal book. Oh boy, here we go. More of that. This is beyond you, Ravi. I've been hearing this junk since I asked to see my first R-rated movie as a kid. Guess what? I snuck into those movies, and I can sneak a peek at the parchment. Trust me, this is not the same as childhood misbehavior. You are gambling not just with your life, but the lives of all of those who love you. Fine, forget it. I'm not gonna read the page. Happy now? I am relieved, yes. But what are you going to do instead? I'm gonna do what I normally do. Sit and worry. And hope Sark hurries up with whatever he's building in the forge. That may take a while. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear you say that. After all this, I better get a statue of my own around here. Just tell me. I already told you. That was just a bunch of hocus-pocus mumbo-jumbo. Authored by the hand of a corrupted elder god, vile, unspeakable evil power contained within its pages. I get it. The Darkhold is bad. But I'm a scientist. I need facts, examples, highlights, lowlights. Are you really asking me for a book report on the Dark I mean, I could just blast the page to smithereens without knowing the context, but understanding it is so much more interesting. Context or no context, I'm still skeptical that your plan will actually work. Well, okay, then share your deep insights with me, Dr. Spooky. Come on, spill the beans! I have no beans to spill, Tony. I think I need some fresh air. I guess you're wondering why Strange and I were getting into it. I saw enough. Uh, he gets so huffy and precious when it comes to his magic stuff. Everything has to be shrouded in mystery, like he's on stage in Vegas or something. I think he's afraid I'm gonna turn around and become an even greater sorcerer than he is. Consider the possibility that Strange understands the universe in ways you could not possibly comprehend. All right. I'll consider it. You... Shh. I'm still considering. Nope. You're wrong. Surely there is a way for you both to work together in harmony. Oh, you'll never catch us in the same barbershop quartet. But, given enough time, I'm sure I can reverse engineer an Elder God's programming language. Sure, you may not be able to understand what I'm saying, but that's not my problem. So you think the Darkhold is no different from some fabulous bit of technology? Oh, absolutely. And like any other fabulous bit of technology, it's only a matter of time before I figure out how to do what I want to do with it. Every problem has a solution, my resurrected friend. And I'm going to find it. It will be a challenge, but I know you can handle it. Well, you don't have to tell me twice. Actually, uh, you can tell me several times. I'm such a shameless sucker for praise. And what about Strange? Are you going to let him sulk? Oh, I'll find Dr. Spooky later, and explain my position clearly. Make sure he understands. It might help if you stop calling him Dr. Spooky. Yeah, you're right. I should use his name. Steven Spooky. I give up. Well, don't give up yet. You need to get the research going on the Gamma Accelerator. I've got the pieces and Dad's research, and I'm ready to go. I'm serious about getting the research started. Parchment isn't going to blow itself. You're looking well, Chief. The magic highlights, Tony. Here's your highlight. I have always found that area. Hey, Hunter. Came to the right. Sometimes, I even impress myself.
Another magical mystery box. And to think, I used to design sentient future tech. Tony is working. You find more coil, send it my way. Careful, Hunter. Punches are flying fast around here. I came out here to cool down. Carol kindly suggested I work out my frustrations on the punching bag. Her suggestion was wise. I am afraid I know the source of your frustrations. If you think this source has got salon-sculpted facial hair and an ego the size of Montana, then you are correct. Surely you understand this is how Stark is with everyone else, do you not? I understand it, intellectually. Yet the outrage still burns in my heart. Fair. Just do us all a favor and try not to break his jaw, all right? We need him in one piece. The problem with Tony is that he's too cavalier. I suppose that attitude has contributed to his success, but he can't do it with the arcane. It's a completely different realm. One that will deal him a brutal defeat if he doesn't change his ways. You do not think he can destroy the Parchment of Power? I don't think he understands just what the page represents. His whole life has been ones and zeros. The forces that shaped the Darkhold were powerful long before numbers or technology. They exist outside of the theory of relativity or quantum mechanics. They are elemental and esoteric as the rules of the dream space. I hope the two of you can reach an understanding. If he wants to work things out, he knows where to find me. Hopefully, <clears throat> my aggressions will have been worked out by then. <clears throat> That'll sh Tension's so thick I could claw it to shreds. Something, or someone going to snap. So what is space like? It's a weird cross between beautiful, deadly, and slightly boring. Boring? How so? Space is empty. There's not much to do on that journey, but look at the scenery. Even then, it's hard to tell you're actually moving. Kind of like highway driving through Nebraska. Sorry if I'm ruining any romantic notions of space travel. You ever take a date out to space? No, no way. Why not? I've had awkward car rides that were just five minutes. I can't imagine flying a bad date all the way back from Phobos. was a blast, Hunter.
Gunas ad sepulchrum. Namak in horror. Tutela contra inferna vocat. Agatha, what are you doing? Casting a protection spell over the Abbey. Now that we are in possession of the Parchment of Power, we must be vigilant in guarding against its influences. What can I do to help? You can't. This is a very rare form of sorcery, practiced only by those who have passed from this realm. But you can watch over the others. This spell will only prevent the worst type of harm the Parchment can inflict, but can't stop it from making mischief completely. Mischief? What sort of mischief? There's no way of knowing for sure. But if there's one thing I am sure of, it's this. The words etched onto the page were written by Cathan himself. Not even my magic can silence them. They will affect us, if only in whispers. I mean, they're probably affecting us right here, right now, and won't stop. Not until Stark finally manages to nuke it from space. Then there is hope. There sure is. But until that happens, we need to protect ourselves. Speaking of... I should really finish this incantation. The spell cannot be completed without it. I will leave you to it then. Sleep well, Hunter. If you can. It's always good to see you. one another. Family loves one another. Family would do anything to save one another. Is that not what these heroes of yours preach? Then why abandon you at the doorstep of that wretched pretender Mephisto, my precious child? After the traitor Blaze betrayed me to that demon, Robbie would not leave my side. Ileana tore through reality itself to find me. I am here now because of their actions, not yours. Then for once I am grateful to them. Still, I fear you have traded one problem for another. Say what you will about Johnny Blaze, but his soul is one of the strongest I have ever encountered. He has carried the parchment for decades without succumbing to its call. Battled angels and demons alike, and rattled the thrones of far too many gods. It almost seems like you admire him. I simply state the facts. Now he is free of the page, and another takes on a mantle of its guardian. Robbie. Do you really think he will prevail over the parchment of power? You were right, Mother. I am? Robbie will never be Johnny Blaze. He will become something far greater. I gladly place my fate and that of the world in his hands. My original offer still stands. If you truly value your friend, relieve him of his burden and surrender the parchment to me. Ignore my warning. 
And Blaze's betrayal will be a fond memory compared to what is coming next. I hope the others slept better than I did. That can't be. I had that dream too. Maybe it was something we ate. Don't you mean someone? Hmm, I don't know. The stinks of a hex or a curse or something. If we all had the same nightmare, does that mean we all share the same subconscious neurosis? God, I hope not. The probability of every single one of us walking the same dream state is a billion trillion to one. It must mean something. Yeah, it means we might want to have a little chat with our friendly neighborhood hunter. Oh, I knew I should have let Mr. Murdoch copyright that for me. I still can't get that image out of my mind. Same here. And that's saying a lot these days. I'm sure there's a logical explanation for this all. There is... the parchment. I knew that page would find a way of messing with our heads. Or maybe it was warning us about you-know-who. Did you have the dream? What dream? I'm here, if you want to talk about it. I'm assuming you had the same dream last night as the rest of us. I'm pretty sure I did not. What was it? I'll let Wanda tell you. She's better at communicating those kinds of things. All I can say is, what I saw last night made me worry about you. I appreciate the concern, Robbie, but I'm all right. Whatever happened was just a dream. Yeah, you seem all right standing here in the light of day. But that dream last night? Feels like too much of a coincidence that every single person in this abbey sh I wish I could explain it. Maybe it is the page, messing with us, trying to make us suspicious of each other. It is possible. The full effects of the Parchment of Power have gone largely unstudied. And they will remain unstudied. Honestly, I can't wait for it to be destroyed. So, you are not going to read it? Hell no! And not just because I suspect it's giving me bad dreams. Because I know whatever Blaze read set him off so hard that he betrayed us. Page most likely tricked him into believing the outcome was destined to be in Lilith's favor. And that's why I'm not going to read it. Like, ever. I think Wanda wants to talk to you. I, I should stop monopolizing your time and let her get a word in. Oh, and Hunter? Yes, Robbie? Take care of yourself, okay? Like, really take care. I always do. What is everyone so upset about? A nightmare. We all had the same one last night, and it has... unnerved us. Wondering if you had the same one too. It would be weird if you were the only one in the Abbey who didn't. You mean the one about Lilith? Wait, you had a dream about Lilith? Is that not the one you all had? No, Hunter. We had a dream about you. And it was a pretty awful one, too. What? What about me? Let's just say you... Uh... Something threw you above us. Your face twisted in what could only be described as extreme agony. And... 
That's as far as I want to remember. I don't want to freak you out. I mean, it was just a dream, right? We both know nothing is just a dream, especially these days. Let's hope this one was. We should probably stop talking now. Everyone is staring. They are staring? Yep. They really are frightened, are they not? Hey, if it makes you feel any better, everyone here is just as afraid of me as they are of you. The parchment's days are numbered, Hunter. Come down to the forge. Once, I dreamt that I grew four more arms after the radioactive spider bite. <laughs> then I also grew mouth pincers. I even turned into a giant spider and went full kaiju on Midtown. So no more late night binging on Japanese monster movies when my spider sense is keeping me up. Seems like everyone had a restless night. I hate to ask this, but are you all right? Why? Do I look like there is something wrong with me? No, not at this moment, but... The dream, I mean, nightmare we all had of you. The one everyone had, but no one will tell me about? Let's just say you should be grateful to have your collar to protect you. Protect me from what, exactly? Your mother, Hunter. Who else? Who knows how she might be able to manipulate you? I wouldn't put it past her to invade your dreams, the way I think she just invaded ours last night. She knows the parchment is here. And is desperate for it, I'm sure. We should all be on guard. In any case, best to keep our wits about us. I just want anything to happen to you, kiddo. A good exercise routine keeps the mind and body sharp. Thanks. Come on over, Hunter. I'm slinging some hot, fresh, parchment-blasting tech here. Is this it? Is this the thing that will destroy the parchment? Well, you better believe it. That's the Gamma Accelerator. Plus a few tips taken from dear old Dad's notes. Plus a few crucial adjustments. Plus some revolutionary new tech created on the fly. Are you sure it will work? I'm sure you've got a million questions. Come to the war room and you can hear my full spiel. Trust me. You won't want to miss it. Oh, you are gonna love this. I know we can't control our dreams, Hunter. Maybe we can help you learn not to share them. It was all a dream, right, Hunter? Uh, next time, could you dream of literally anything else? You and Lilith was not. You have my undivided attention. In this reality, anyway? I don't remember signing up for this An excellent find. Last night was no dream. Lilith intended us to witness that vision. Lilith is toying with our emotions and our minds because she is desperate for punishment. She is frightened of us. I'm trying to assume it was Lilith in all our heads last night. Don't prove me wrong, Hunter. That said, something... Hey, Hunter. I have high expectations. Sometimes, I even impress myself. Time now, Tony. Yeah, you're being a little extra you right now. 
forgive me if I'm a little excited that another one of my brilliant, one-of-a-kind inventions will thwart the apocalypse. Again. Uh-huh. What's the plan? No, uh-uh, not yet. Waiting until we have a quorum. Don't want to have to explain the complex calculations, algorithms, and other assorted science bits twice. The Forge Demon was right. You do love the sound of your own voice. Relax, will ya? When this works, victory blowout party at my Malibu estate. Everyone's invited. Even Strange. But he doesn't get a pony ride. I tell... I don't like to say that I do my best work under pressure, but I think this time... I even amazed myself. This is impressive. You did this work incredibly fast. Chug a few Stark drives and there's nothing you can't speed through. Hopefully the sugar crash doesn't hit me while we're destroying the page. If you manage to stop the prophecy, I will be the first to sing your praises. So you're promising karaoke. I'm gonna hold you to that, Hunter. This thing won't fail. What about your father's research? Do you feel comfortable using it as the basis for this canon? I'm only perfecting the stuff he started. It's like I took all the skeletons out of my family closet, dusted them off, and now they're going to do community service. It is powered by skeletons. Don't worry, figure of speech. No actual skeletons in there, just massive amounts of gamma radiation. Our friend Banner thought he was gonna use it to get supercharged. But this thing's gonna shut his team down, permanently. Let us keep our attention on destroying the parchments. We can deal with Hulk after. Oh, come on! I know multitasking probably wasn't a thing in your olden times, but it's the only way I get stuff done. Plus, I can't get Banner out of my mind. So... what now? Now comes the hard part. Explaining my plan to the team. I wonder if I have time to whip up some diagrams. People love diagrams. Willis This your first Tony Stark patented last ditch reeks of desperation Hail Mary plan? Only reason to listen to Tony is to get directions to the rap party. You believe the cause is lost? Didn't say that. Did not say that either. I've seen the world end a few times, and I'm still here to talk about it. That is not saying much. You have a healing factor. We can't all be born as unlucky as me. I sense my mother's intentions, and she is relentless and dangerous. She does not care who she hurts or kills. Good thing we got her apple on our side. Apple? Uh, no, thank you. I am not hungry. No, it's a saying. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. You were calling me an apple. I don't take kindly to the born yesterday routine, kid. I am a midnight sun. I have made my decision, and like my mother, I am relentless and know my intentions. Careful. Talking like that's a great way to taste your own boot. Your ma's got a brainwashing reputation. I've seen you out there. Others look up to you. Don't betray their trust. Otherwise you and me are gonna have words and claws. One thing we can agree on, hell ain't coming. Hell is already here. Maybe I shouldn't be so gung-ho about you confronting Lilith. Hunter, hello.
I know a lot of you aren't used to the scientific method. So take a breath, let it all soak in. I can talk you through the really complex parts. You want to shoot the indestructible page with a giant ray gun? A giant gamma ray gun. You can't just blow up the parchment of power with gamma energy. It isn't dumb. He has a point. Look, you and the Hocus Pocus crowd had your shot. Now, it's my turn. Mine and Hound's. Your father's research. Pops wasn't trying to weaponize gamma energy. He was trying to supercharge it into an almost unlimited power source. Should probably thank Bruce for helping me realize that. Problem is, gamma energy has a threshold. Push it too much and it goes boom, big time. Enter Los Diablos. Birthplace of the Hulk. And the last time somebody tried putting Pop's theories to the test, entire area is still saturated with that same modified energy. If I can channel it through my accelerator cannon, well, that gamma field page of yours will go boom, big time. Bingo. Huge time. We're gonna need a tremendous amount of power. And not just gamma. Yo, lost boys. And lost girls. Saddle up. We need you. Sabertooth's still out there. They ain't going nowhere without me. The more the better. Somebody's gotta clap when I thwart the apocalypse. Again. Stay focused on Tony's ridiculous plan. I'll keep an eye out for Hydra. Your enthusiasm is infectious, Sarah. I'm allowing this to move forward, aren't I? Anyway, Robbie and Tony are already in place. Good luck. We all need it. Sir. What's the word, kid? Nothing. Nothing is definitely the word. Oh, well, nothing's good. You don't have the Abbey masking you in that page right now. Just keep a safe distance a little longer until we're ready here. With even one blast, my gamma cannon will drain the ambient gamma energy from this entire valley. This is gonna have to be a one-shot deal. Then don't miss. Got that part, Kevin. By far the worst plan I've ever been part of. And I've done jobs with Deadpool. Robbie cannot hide that page forever. If there is any chance of removing that burden from him. Huh. Speaking of. Yo, fast in the flamius. What did I just tell you? Stark! Power up that damn ray gun! What? Stark! Multiple targets! Close it on your position! That ain't Robbie. Activated gamma collectors now. How long do you need? How would I know? I just invented the damn things yesterday. Then keep going. We will hold the line. Stark. Too smart for your own good. Ignore the others and follow that page. It's time I return home. If you could go ahead and stop them from attacking the highly volatile gamma collector, that would be fantastic. Feel free to come down here and throw a few lasers at them. Yeah, sure, no problem. And while I'm down there, which one of you is going to initialize the accelerator to fire this thing? Fair point. We will hold this position as long as necessary. Trust me, it'll be worth the wait.
aren't good enough for me. Trick.
you're just gonna keep coming back. Mother made sure of that. Stark. Getting warmer. Keep fighting. Better not be dragging your feet. How does one drag their feet in the air? I'll explain later, kid. chance to escape. It's all coming back to me. great deal of trust in your nemesis, Logan. Yeah, she really knows how to pick him. You sound bitter. If only Mother had chosen you like Logan.
that was so That looked like it hurt. I put down a lot better marks than you. I think we've given you just about enough time, Rugs. I'm getting bored with this group. I'll be more than happy your misery. This could prove powerful. things the hard way. <laughs> you were right, kid. I am a coward. Been running from this moment my whole life. World's really gonna beat this thing, it'll need someone strong. Like you. start playing the blame game, I think it's important to recognize that my theory would have worked. There's other side. Horns are new. That's not all, Toad. I'm finally seeing my true potential through Mother's eyes. That sounds a little weird, too.
supposed to know Bruce will try and ride the lightning. We needed a way to destroy the planet. You see, this guy gets it. to seal. Frustrating it's been. 
I think I liked it better when the big version only used single syllables. I'm sure it was to your advantage keeping me down. Don't get all broody on me now, Bruce. That's just Lilith talking. centuries ago. you ever managed to control him in the past? But control is a strong word. I'd say it's more like we pointed him at something and hoped for the best. Not reassuring. My work is never done. Light will carry you on. A true. shall be of great help.
You know that's not enough. She has chosen me to finish this. I am not myself. interest in me. deliver the page to Lilith, just as it was foretold, just as she planned all along. All right, because you're telling me she orchestrated all of this? My mother always gets what she wants. With the dark hold in her grasp, there is only one thing she is missing. Me. thing is, magic took out Sabretooth. Now I don't feel like smoking it. Knew one day he'd cut off more than he could chew. I just thought Creed's reckoning was mine to deliver. Magic is too young to have this on her shoulders. I agree. Can't tell magic what to do, though. Got too much of that Rasputin headstrong nature. It is indeed dark times when the youth must make dark choices. I'm worried about the kid. You change when you cancel someone's check. We can't afford another one on our side pulling a banner. Battle offers us no easy choices, and none of us emerge unscathed. Liana's grown on me. <laughs> I guess I gotta make sure she doesn't end up like me. Last thing I need is another Jubilee. She could come in handy against Hulk, though. The Hulk situation worries us all. I've survived a few dust-ups of the Green Rage monster. Two reasons I walked away. Healing factor, and I got the feeling the banner was holding the green guy back. I don't get that feeling anymore, do you? Dr. Banner may prove an ally to us. Your mom's play of turning puny Banner was smart. She controls Hulk's only weakness. The part that was on our side. Hunter, are you any good at writing eulogies? I can't get Blaze out of my head. I don't mean possession or anything, just everything that happened. Tell me what you were thinking. On the one hand, he was my personal hero. On the other hand, he tried to destroy you. On the other, other hand, he sacrificed himself to save me. How do I honor him and still be truthful? It's too many hands. 
No matter what betrayals he visited upon us, he did the right thing in the end. You were standing here because he sacrificed himself. Maybe so. I also remember Mephisto's sulfur stench, and Blaze's generally awful attitude. Can I really talk about the good and ignore the awful? I don't think so. Whatever you decide to do, do it quickly. I am afraid we are running out of time. You really helped clarify my thinking. Thank you. I I'll figure something out by morning. Promise. This is so hard. Maybe... I mean, it's not like Robbie's gonna let you write a eulogy for Blaze. Seems like this is something he's got to work out on his own. But a little backup never hurts. And what are you doing? Me? I'm here to support Robbie. He watched his personal hero sacrifice himself. He shouldn't have to grieve alone. I am concerned about Robbie too. Blaze's betrayal and his sacrifice? It could be overwhelming to him. The guy's been through a lot. That's why I want to help him get closure. I'm sure he'll be fine after that. Closure? What is that? Yeah, you know, um, closure? Like, after you have a breakup and you insist on making your ex go out for coffee so you can tell them how they made you feel. Do you think that is effective? I've watched hundreds of hours of daytime TV talk shows that say yes. So, as soon as Robbie works this out, we'll be good to go. Robbie will figure out what to do. Eventually. Um, any suggestions? I have lots to talk about. Too much. Hulk fights dirty and mean and brutal. Enough, Tony. We tried and we failed. Time to admit we might not have all the answers on this one. We needed to act, and that's exactly what I did. Yeah, okay, the plan didn't work out. I'll come up with another. If that doesn't work, I'll try again, and again, until I win. You win. <sighs> you know what I meant. I know exactly what you meant. Listen to someone other than yourself for once. Stand down, Tony. Not while I can still fix this. Stand down, down with you. What do you say, boss? Is Rogers right? Should the star player get benched after one mistake? Or maybe you're smart, and you know I can get us across the finish line. You tried, Tony. That is admirable and greatly appreciated. But no longer needed. That is not what I am saying. But you're thinking it. I think we're fresh out of enemy Hulk protocols. I remember when I used to go out on these missions myself. At least I can always rely on you to get the job done. Mm -hmm. 